Hey everyone, my name is Venerin, and in this video we're going to talk about the latest open AI model called GPT-4O or GPT-4 Omni. And in the announcement they're saying that they see the new flagship model that can reason across audio, video and text in real time. So this is quite a claim and this appears to be their first multi-model model. And one of the more interesting parts about this model is that it is matching, at least according to them, the performance of GPT-4 Turbo. This was pretty much their best model thus far on text in English and code. And they say that this is a significant improvement on text in non-English languages. So if you're using GPT or OpenAI models in general in other languages than English, probably this model will bring some uh, significant improvements and they say that this model is much faster and it is uh, priced at least the api is priced two times cheaper compared to gpt4 turbo and uh, they have a lot of demos right here i'm going to link those those into the description below but this is one of the important parts we trained a single new model end to end across text vision and audio so what they're essentially saying that this is one large multi-model model and uh they were talking about previously that there was actually using uh for example they were training an individual audio model then passing the audio to text model responses to gpt 3.5 or uh, 4 and then creating another model to output the audio and this is uh the pipeline that they were specifying with the three separate models as i've just described and you can read that on your own but essentially the new gpt4 omni model is a multi-model model and can take a lot of the input in uh, its input uh, for prompt if you will so this is very similar to what we had with uh, google gemini and it appears that uh, openai are also looking in that direction as well uh, they have a very nice examples here where you can uh, look through those uh, i found that uh, let me show you the one of the other ones so uh, here they were uh, generating this mail delivery person and then uh, they were introducing this as an input to the model along with the image within the prompt and then they were prompting that Sally, uh, this uh, delivery person, is actually going to be delivering some uh, email. And uh, this is actually the input or the output of the model. So uh, you can uh, think that you can pass in some images along with some text, and then this will generate, uh, based on those inputs, something that is a bit different, but still preserve the original image and render it in a different environment or situation uh, this appears to be very powerful indeed and they have uh, some good evaluations and uh, here they're looking at the mmlu for gpt4 all or for omni and uh, as you can see the model is pretty much the best from uh, the what they're uh, testing here uh, this model appears to be doing even better compared to gpt4 turbo and even though they're specifying that uh, this model should be on par with gpt4 turbo it appears that uh yeah this model is much better on math problems and in human eval uh, there is a significant difference with the responses and yeah it appears that this model can be actually quite powerful at least according to those uh uh, benchmarks and uh, here they have even a benchmark against Stuama 3 400 billion parameters uh, which appears to be doing quite well actually at least on this benchmark we'll see when uh, we have access to this model yeah interesting yeah it appears that this one model is actually going to be really really good i'm excited for that on the vision understanding evolves so there were only using a couple of models right here gemini 1.5 pro quote opus and then they were comparing even against gpt4 turbo and 
uh, you can see that GPT-4 or Omni is pretty much the best there is according to these benchmarks. And one thing that I noted here is that for the document a visual question answering, this model is uh, appears to be much much better compared to GPT-4 Turbo. So yeah, uh, probably you are going to have to evolve this on your own data sets. But again, this looks pretty interesting. And they were actually using some language token compression. And, and they have a lot of examples in different languages right here for you to see how much compression they, they achieved using the new tokenizer. And yeah, it appears that this uh, model is very much attending to different or multi-language multi -language, uh, use cases. Uh, which is great to see and even in English uh, you can see that they have achieved a new or uh, some reduction of the tokens I'll be very interested to see what type of tokenizer they're using and if they're going to release any more information about the tokenizer itself they're talking about safety etc you can read that on your own and this is pretty much the availability. This model is currently available through the web API, uh, web interface and the API. And this is the summary. GPT-4 Omni is two times faster, half the price, and has five times higher rate limits compared to GPT-4 True. So if this model can deliver on these promises, uh, this would be uh, really good when, for example, you can use such a model in production and hopefully they can keep up with the demand for that. And here is the documentation part for GPT-4 Omni. And here they state that this is their most advanced model, multi-model, as we've previously discussed. Same high intelligence as GPT-4 Turbo, much more efficient. It generates text two times faster and it's 50% cheaper. And uh, here they're actually specifying that this new model also have 128,000 tokens as a limit and the training data is up to October 2023 so this is pretty much the same as GPT-4 Turbo and furthermore they're specifying that they are this is their best vision model so this is the updated version of the interface for uh, ChatGPT and here you can see that if you are a paying customer you can enable the GPT-4 all or GPT-4 Omni model right here. And uh, if you're going to be asking it something, let's try it out. Act as Dwight Schrute from the office. Write an sales letter that persuades new customers to subscribe to the yearly one early paper delivery one let's see how this model performs you can see that the actual response is quite fast it looks like the speed is actually quite similar to what i got from uh gpt 3.5 and yeah it appears that this model is actually performing very well, at least on first sight. Dear esteemed business leader. Yeah. It appears to be very well formatted. Uh, it is pointing to the denermifon.com subscribe, a system to the regional manager. Yeah, it appears that it understands everything quite well. For our next evaluation, I'm going to show you the responses for this Meta Reports first qu quarter 2024 results. And this is a quite lengthy document. Uh, you can see that it has uh, roughly 10 pages of this uh, document. It has a lot of tables. Yeah. So uh, in order to have a look at this, I'm going to be using the parsed version of it from Wama parse and I'm going to be using that as an input to our model. So to try out the model on the document I'm going to be using this prompt use the document below then I'm going to paste in all of the Wama parse document 
and after that i'm going to ask what is the revenue minus the costs and expenses for 2024 calculate the answer and then i'm asking to compare it to the same numbers for 2023 let's see yeah this is a lot of text of course okay so the response again quite fast to calculate the revenue minus the cost and expenses for 2023 okay so identify the revenue and cost and expenses for each year Revenue, cost and expenses, revenue, cost and expenses. Uh, those numbers appear to be correct. And then uh, it is calculating the cost and expenses my, uh, and extracting that from revenue. And then for 2023, okay, so it appears to be working quite well on these numbers. Uh, if you recall from the previous video on the rack, I've seen that at least from 2023, Wama3 had uh, some problems to extract those numbers and calculate those, at least the 70 billion parameter model. And this is the actual calculation. Uh, yeah, this appears, at least on top of my head, looks to be working quite well. And yeah, it appears that this model is performing very nice calculations based on the markdown text that I've shown and uh, these numbers were all from the table on the previous on the first page of the model. One important thing right here is that you can read this aloud. Minus the cost and expenses for 2024 and compare it to the same figures for 2023. And when you actually run this model to have a reason to the response, the response appears to be uh, doing quite a good job. And here you can change the uh, type of model that you're using as well so this is it for this video the model is quite new literally three or four hours long and once it appears on the chat arena i'll probably have another look at it and i'm going to do probably some more extensive testing let me know in the comments below what type of prompts would you like to see and what type of tests are you interested in with this model it will probably be very interesting to try this model to generate some images and probably try some of the similar examples that they had into the demo or the blog post for uh, this model gpt4 omni thanks for watching guys please like share and subscribe also join the discord channel that i'm going to link down into the description and i'll see you in the next one bye